So, I um, might as well make these videos twice weekly because that's how it always ends up. Um, yeah, stuff just comes up. Uh, I'm trying with the camera a little further away this time uh, so I can get a wider view. That's It's filmed on my iPad. This is not professional grade, whatever. And obviously I move around different spots in the house because um, I'm always looking for somewhere that's a reasonable background. Uh, sorry for the, the arsenal back here. I have weapons. Yeah, these aren't props. That's, uh, I have a friend who's a blacksmith, so I have a lot of stuff. Um, so, yeah. But, hey, if, if I'm looking back on these videos uh, retrospectively later on, years down the road, it might be interesting to see how the house was laid out and where all my stuff was. Uh, so, yeah, last weekend um, was kind of pre-Valentine's weekend, and um, my in-laws haven't known that I'm trans for very long. I think we just told them right around Christmas, which was a little bit awkward and we're met with just kind of blank silence almost. Um, since then, they've just been friggin' amazing. I'm in awe. Um, I should have grabbed it before I started the video. Uh, we go over to their house for dinners on Sunday evenings and we went over the Sunday before Valentine's Day and they're being cutesy, so there's there's little boxes of chocolates on the table at everybody's place setting, because they're cool like that. And cards. And my girlfriend opens her card, and it's, you know, to our wonderful daughter, and Valentine's Day, schmoopy, all that. And I open up mine, and it's Spider-Man. And it says, to our son. And I don't know how I didn't lose it there at the dinner table. But in two months to go from first telling them to have that reaction, that just, we accept this and, and okay, this is what we're going with. Um, yeah, that's astonishing to me. Um, to <laughs> contrast with my parents, I don't hear a lot from my dad. He's just a quiet person. Um, my mother does most of the talking. Uh, and she had just earlier that week sent me some photos of myself as a little kid. Uh, and it was like, oh, yeah, that's cool. You know, photos of, of myself, you know, I remember that and I remember that doll or whatever stuffed toy, you know, okay. And it was in a chat. And then what comes is there's the little girl that I will always love and miss. I'm like, ah, oh, there it is. <laughs> so, I don't know if she's having a harder time with it because she's not physically seeing me day in, day out, because um, they are geographically elsewhere, um, or if it's because I'm their kid versus my in-laws, I'm not really their kid, uh, or if it's just them, um, or all of the above, but, but they are definitely still struggling with it. Um, so that was the weekend, and then Monday, I went and I got to try on my first fitting for my tux for the wedding, which is absorbing much of my attention now, because um, we have no idea what the hell we're doing. We're both kind of floundering planning it. We've got, we've got a lot of the bits and pieces now, um, but uh, so I went for the initial tux fitting which I don't have any photos. Not that exciting because you're standing there in two different shoes and, and the pants that are, at least if you're my height, way too long because they're anticipating hemming them. So, you know, but did not get any comments. Um, the lady that fitted me was very professional and, you know, no problems. And my mother-in-law went with me. And afterwards, I went and we took her to get lunch and everything, and uh, she's a smoker, and she sat and talked with me and smoked, 
And actually before I left their place, I started having the visual distortions from a migraine, which is part of the package of my allergies, which I've mentioned before. Um, I, I tend to get them as an allergic reaction, so I'm pretty damn sure I know what set me off there. Uh, I'm still very grateful to her that she came with me, but yeah, I could have done without the cigarette smoke. Um, so I didn't want to say anything and be rude, because here she was going with my tux fitting, which she paid for the tux, by the way. I was willing to pay for it, but she, she took that out of my hands, so, you know. Didn't want to say anything, so I waited longer than I probably should have before I got home and took my migraine medicine, and it may have been too late. Um, I summarily had the worst migraine I have had in about a decade. So the reason there was no video last Monday is because I spent the morning getting ready for tux fitting, and then the rest of the day puking. Um, so that, that was not so great. But, recovered from that now, so... Um, I, I had meant to make a close to Valentine's Day video, but it, it didn't happen. Um, but yeah, the, the wedding is definitely consuming my thoughts and my girlfriend's thoughts uh, a lot of the time now. Um, I'm hoping to get my name change and gender marker change in before the wedding. Um, we just spoke to the Reverend today, and he said if you put so-and-so husband and so-and-so wife, he said, the legal name needs to match. But if the gender markers aren't changed yet, they don't know, <laughs> was basically his take on it. Um, still hope that it wouldn't be an issue anyways. But that's, that's kind of reassuring that I guess the person who signs off on it, he signs off on it and he sees us, but he doesn't have a problem with it. Um, but then the other person, the legal person that later on signs off on it, they don't see us. Um, so, I don't know, I guess we're slipping in under the wire there. there. There doesn't seem to be a coherent guide out there for trans people getting married. At least not that I've seen. So, we're winging it, as, as we often are in life. Um, but, yeah. Um... Oh, another thing with his videos is I've decided it's inevitable I'm going to fidget because I can't not. Um, so that's part of why I did the widescreen. So so maybe it'll be less distracting if you can see what I'm on and, and it's not just my head bobbing around. Um, instead, you get the full package of the fidgeting and gesturing and bobbing around. Um, I can't help it. Uh, I do have ADD. I was diagnosed as a kid. Um, but for a long time there, I wasn't sure how well I buy into that. They said I was hypoactive, not hyperactive. Um, I was very withdrawn and quiet as a kid. Uh, apart from, from drama club, I, I did a lot of acting, but I'm badly out of practice with that. Um, so in, in more recent years, I think that probably is true. My girlfriend's pointed out that I don't focus on one thing. I have to have three things. I have the TV or, or the music or something going, and then the thing that I'm working on, and then the fidgeting in the background, and, and that's how I get things done. And if I had to sit down and just do one thing and not have any side stimulation, then it's just not going to happen. Um, I, won't, I won't get done whatever it is I'm trying to do. So, so yeah, I guess I do have ADD. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the social stuff. Um, physical stuff, it's still not shown on video a whole lot, but my arms are really definitely changing. Um, um, we can feel it. Uh, it's hard. It's never been hard before. I'm not complaining, don't get me wrong. But, um, yeah, so... That's changing. I'm, I listen periodically to some of the, the first early videos, and I'm definitely hearing a difference in my voice. Um, and in particular, there's a band that I really like called Steam Power Giraffe, and I'll go into more on them in a later video. But uh, 
the the bass man is is my favorite person in that group and uh there was one particular song that i was oh man you know i want to hit the the low section that he hits on that song it's uh aeh is the abbreviation for the song and uh last week i had um some some music playing i was playing it and just kind of singing along just for practice and i sang it through and it was easy um so then i went wait a minute i must not have hit the same pitch that he did so i backed it up and sang it over a second time uh, it's clearly my bottom has has lowered um and I had volume. I had just barely sort of been able to hit it before, um, but I had no volume, which is kind of what happens when you hit the very, very bottom edge of your range. Sometimes you can kind of hit it, but there's just, it's like you're whispering it almost. Um, but this, I was just full out singing it like nothing. Um, so that's impressive. I don't know if I'll ever sing it on one of these videos because it's not one that does well without the instrumental or at least backup vocals because they are very much into group harmonies which obviously I can't do by myself but um but yeah that's that's definitely progress um starting to get sirs more uh the facial hair I'm starting to get I've shaved a few times now and the hair is starting to come back in even here and it's long it's not like girl's face hair it's like guy's face hair but it's friggin blonde or white or something so it still doesn't really show up and it's still really sparse and patchy but but I'm, I'm good on the neck beard I never know how well stuff goes in the video the lighting's kind of crappy but yeah I, I do have a neck beard thing going I need to shave that off today um, but having talked to cisgender guys apparently the neck beard is kind of what comes in first for a lot of people so you know that's just how bodies work um, so yeah that's that's the general updates on life which is kind of the point of this blog um, blog whatever yeah so uh, it's a week late but I thought I would still go ahead and sing the Valentine song because it's actually another one that I used to sing along to back years ago um, my voice was deep for a chick but for a chick um, so it used to be one that was kind of at the bottom and out end of my range and I gave it a test run and it was really easy um, so yeah uh, I, I have kind of a list that I'm compiling of songs that I know I can sing that sound okay without background instrumentation but I do tend to pick the song kind of to go with what what's on my mind when I make the video so I, I do have kind of a backlog list I still would like to try and make a video at some point of me singing some uh, head voice songs uh, but I'm gonna have to work at it and practice I, I was trying to practice in the past week and I got some of my upper range back fairly easily uh, because I had worked on it for so long for so many years um, but but my voice is changing it's a little bit unpredictable it's still so the video the iPad actually cut off um, right before I sang so uh, now the cat is moving my camera <laughs> it's on a chair so so when the cat rubs against the chair that's that's fun times anyways i don't know if that was a sign that i ramble too much before uh before i start singing but yeah so i'll have to piece together this video so sorry that there's a choppy break in there anyways um this one i believe was originally by louis armstrong um and it used to be really hard because it was down towards the bottom of what I could possibly do and sometimes without much volume and now it's not so yeah <coughs> give me a kiss to build a dream on 
and my imagination will thrive upon that kiss. Sweetheart, I ask no more than this, a kiss to build a dream on. Give me a kiss before you leave me, and my imagination will feed my hungry heart. Leave me one thing before we part, a kiss to build a dream on. fantasies I'll be with you weaving romances and making believe they're true I'll give me your lips for just a moment and my imagination will make that moment live Give me what you alone can give, a kiss to build a dream on. So yeah, um, for those of you who might not be as far along in their journey as I am, uh, it, changes will happen. Uh, it'll always feel like it's too slow, because we all wish we could just flip a switch. But you'll hit a point where you look back and... Uh, and see, oh, you know, I couldn't have imagined when I was five weeks along or ten weeks along that that I could get to the point where I am now. Um, and I'm, I guess I'm coming up close to six months-ish. Uh, I haven't said on a few videos, but I'm at 19 weeks now, 19 shots. Um, so when I hit a year, which will be next October, uh, I do intend to sing the song that I sang in my first video, again, for the sake of comparison. That one wasn't at the bottom of my range, but my vocal quality is changing too. Um, I've noticed I've been trying to rework my upper range a little bit, and when I use my head voice, it sounds more like a man's falsetto than like a woman's voice. Um, so there's, there's other subtle differences that are happening. It's not just how deep it can go. There's there's something else happening there. Um, anyways, uh, happy belated Valentine's Day, uh, which is about all kinds of love, not just romantic love. So don't be like, you know, if you don't have a significant other, I know I'm talking about my wedding a lot, but you know, if you're alone, you, you know, there's friends, there's family, there's all different kinds of love. Um, so yeah, uh, my love to all of you and, uh, till next time.